Okay, guys, so this is part two. Uh, um, okay, so let me explain for those of you who are not getting where I'm going with this. Um, it has to do with the Julian calendar primarily, and what I believe I'm seeing, what the Lord is showing us or trying to show us is that uh, the days in October, because this is when the calendars were switched, it was October 1582, when time stopped for the Julian calendar and it began for the Gregorian calendar. So I believe what he's trying to show us is that, and based on what scripture says, what I just covered about the, the moon, that, in other words, what that verse in Psalm 81, 81, 3 is saying is that the Hag feast, which the Feast of Tabernacles is the one we're primarily looking at right now, because that's the month we're in, um, is supposed to begin with what scripture is saying is a full moon, but it's really the dark phase, what we know as a new moon. So that occurs on the 16th of October. In other words, the 16th of October is supposed to be the first day of tabernacles, according to what scripture says. So when you line up the dates of October with what scripture says, then it, it shows you that the first, between the first and the second, when the full moon was, was actually the first or the second of Tishri. You know, the in-between time. Um, it was here in the States in, the, in Eastern Daylight Time, it was the first of the full moon, began at 5.05 p.m., but in Israel, in Jerusalem, it was already the second. So basically, the second of October was the first day of Tishri according to Psalm 81.3 because it was a quote-unquote full moon that we know, meaning fully lit. So I hope you're following me. In other words, October 2nd was day one of Tishri because then that would put October 16th landing on the Feast of Tabernacles. And that ties in directly in what Darla heard, the 16th, the 16th. So let me just keep going with this. So, um, when the calendars originally switched, there was a 10-day gap. What should have been on the Julian calendar the 5th of October became the 15th on the Gregorian. So 10 days were added. There is a verse in Jubilees, I forget exactly which one it is, that the Lord says that they will observe their feasts and their full moons, or I'm sorry, their new moons, meaning month, not a phase of the moon. The beginnings of their months, their feast days, or Sabbath, they would do it 10 days too soon. So, in other words, they would start to do things according to what um, the Gregorian calendar says in regards to when the moon phases are, since they begin their month with the first crescent. He, what I believe he's trying to say is go back to the Julian calendar to what it's originally supposed to be because I've noticed that the true Hebrew calendar seems to, just in all the different times he's had me lining up calendars, and um, yes, I had to change things along the way regarding calendars because I didn't have the full understanding, and that's because he gives us a little bit at a time, but what he gives us even though it might not be right for that time, will be right later on um, when he gives more. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is the, the, um, the days of October, it appears, are mimicking the true days of Tishri uh, in regards to Jerusalem's time frame one day off. In other words, October 2nd would have been the first day of Tishri or the Feast of Trumpets because then that lands... October 16th with the first day of Tabernacles. So you see what I'm saying? We haven't reached it yet. Um, however, they are now saying that um, the Julian calendar is not 10 days behind anymore. It's 13 days behind. Now, whether or not that's true, maybe that's just another... Um, something that the enemy is doing to throw us off, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's interesting in a way because, let me show you what this, what the true date is. 
So when you go research stuff about the Julian calendar, it has this time frame here. Um, this is yesterday's date, so today is the 6th. So on the Julian calendar, today is September 23rd, which is 13 days behind. You count, you start counting from the day and then uh, the day after the, the day that you're on, and the 13th day that you land on is supposed to be the Julian date. So, so if we begin day one between these two dates, um, as Tishri one, then that makes, okay, so if the second which began here at the second, um, when this is when the full moon was. So if you begin Tishri 1 there with what scripture says that the month is supposed to begin with a full moon, then this would be day 1 of Tishri, meaning that this is day 8 of Tishri, 9, 10. So that makes, that makes October 11th, which is the 8-11, the 118, um, what I just showed you about Michael Moss Day, that makes this day, um, the Day of Atonement, and not the 23rd. That makes this day the Day of Atonement. So if that's the Day of Atonement, that's day 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So as you see here, October 16th, this is a new moon on a calendar, the dark phase. This is the beginning of the Feast of Tabernacles, which lines up with scripture. And it just so happens that to be 13 days behind on the Julian calendar. So what I'm getting at is Day of Atonement, Day of Judgment, where the books are sealed just so happens to fall on this high watch day, which is the 23rd. Um, if he's going to snatch anybody out of here, that would be the 23rd day re regarding what I've covered in Scripture in Second Chronicles 7.10. Do you see how he's taking all pieces of different calendars and piling them on top of each other like a stack of pancakes? So if this is true Day of Atonement, this is a Sunday. This is when Darla received that the baby would be born. And this is the 16th. So, I'm just saying, guys, that I don't believe we have reached the time frame that we think we have. That um, the true dates of Tishri are, are following October. With the, with the, you know, one to two day difference because of the time zones. So this is what I just want you to get in your head that because this is the next date coming up, we're here at the six right here. And, um, I believe we're coming up and then this is the eighth. This is the eight, eight day. He says to be ready against the third day. That would be the 11th. If, if he's telling us, this is when he wants us to be ready because time's going to go back. He's going to revert time back to um, the original Julian time frame because they used that calendar for centuries, for thousands of years before they switched it. Is he saying he's going to revert the calendar back on the 8-8 eight, eight day, back to the Julian And he says to be ready by the third day. If this is day one, two, three, he's saying this is a 10-10, which I covered with the watches. And this is the 8-11, which is the, you know, time that's been shown in Simpsons episodes. And the 118, which is 8-11 backwards. Everything that I've already covered many times in many different videos over the past several years is now seeming to... Uh, line up with something else. And it doesn't mean that all this stuff that I've shared in previous videos with calendars is wrong because look, I haven't changed this from the last videos. I have between the 10th and the 11th. 
because on the Jewish calendar, what they're observing, that will be Tishri 22 and 23, 10th and 11th. Do you see what I'm trying to show you guys? It's, it's just amazing. And this happens to be the day on the Coptic calendar that they begin the, the month where it's the procession. And I, and I hate to cover that stuff regarding, you know, ancient little G gods, but he has us look at these things so that we know where we're at in regards to what the enemy is planning on doing. And this is the day on the 11th of October. This is the day when they begin their second month on the Coptic calendar, which is where the procession comes in that I covered in the last video, where the, where the Pharaoh is supposed to marry the sun god and, it, you know, all the stuff that's an I pet goat because this is the beginning of the Opit festival. So you guys, this is what he showed me first, which I shared in the last videos. And then this is just this morning because of, thank you, the person who left the comment talking about, I know other channels have been saying for a long time that the, the month is supposed to begin with, begin with a full moon. Um, and I don't remember if I've said this yet, there, there will be people who will say, no, we're supposed to look at regarding um, the full moon being on the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Feast of Tabernacles because there were blood moons regarding the tetrads and all that stuff. Those are signs for Israel because those are the, that's in regards to the calendar that they follow. Those were signs for them. The sign for America has been said by other um, sources that eclipses, solar eclipses are signs for America, the lunar eclipses are signs for Israel. And that's why I started off the first video with talking about 8-8 this Thursday, two days from now, is the beginning of a three and a half year, 42 month countdown to the next American eclipse. Is he trying to tell us that this is when tri tribulation is going to begin? That that three and a half year great tribulation period? I don't know. And and I don't want to debate. So I, I know people will leave comments saying, no, the great tribulation begins here and blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't focus on when the tribulation begins or ends. That's, that's not, the bride doesn't need to be focusing on those things. We need to be focusing on when our Lord's coming for his bride, not when tribulation begins or ends and it's okay to look at those things but i don't focus on that and the only reason i'm bringing it up is because of this date because of all the eight eight and time i think the lord's telling us he's going to set back time to the original time frame of the julian calendar and it's interesting how things just line up this big the fat red line is the in-between between the 22nd and the 23rd. So on the Jewish calendar, they will be celebrating Shemini Yatseret, or the 8th day, on the Gregorian Nis, the, between the 10th and the 11th. And I just showed you how I believe that this is the true day of atonement, this time frame right here. When judgment falls, he led me to read. I decided to pull up Bible Gateway to see what the verse of the day was. Um, I don't have an app on my phone or anything like that because I don't like downloading apps. So I just went there and looked for myself. And the scripture it quoted was from Isaiah 26. Go read it. I'm not going to pull that up right here because I'm running out of time. But go read it. It's talking about exactly what he's getting ready to do. That's the, the chapter where it says to go hide yourselves for a little while until the indignation passes. Day of Atonement, which is judgment. This is the day of judgment. This is the day, if this is um, Day of Atonement, the books are sealed and then judgment falls on those who are not sealed in the book of life. I'm not saying that's that anything's going to happen. I don't know that, but I'm just sharing with you all what... He, there's a reason why he's had me pull up all these different calendars and line them up because when, when things just line up this way, you can't help but pay attention. He's, he's trying to tell us to look at these things. So I will be back. Um, I might try to do one more f uh, completion video here before I have to get ready to go somewhere. So I will see you all in the next video and that'll probably be the, the last one. I love you. Shalom.